Hey there, this is Shoe Render on the Shoe Render Drawing Channel on YouTube and today, because I couldn't think of anything else to do, I'm going to show you very quickly how to draw this kind of cartoony sort of bit, guinea pig. But let's not talk about it, let's do it! Well this is for my YouTube friend Fanta Princess, who I think actually came through my website, and my friend Lindsay Fraser who is very mad about guinea pigs. <laughs> So here we go, um, guinea pigs. I thought about this, there's various ways of doing it. So I thought I'd just draw a very kind of simple cartoony kind of guinea pig. And, and you want a kind of a shape like this. So I suppose it's a, a circle at that end with a kind of a parabola. That's the word I'm looking for at the other end. And you're gonna want an eye kind of about there. Now the ears are a little bit wiggly. So draw, up and down like that okay from not quite in the at the joint of that angle come down like that a bit and bring it forward because it's kind of a folded over kind of ear and then we'll have something similar on the other side like that there we go being more like that actually i think like that good and we'll have him kind of looking at us and then we're going to want a nose, which will be a V-shape there, which then comes down, and a little smile. So this is a kind of a cartoony one. I, I thought of doing uh, something a little more realistic, but I thought I'd just go for a, make it easy. It's quite difficult. But the guinea pigs have got a particular kind of shape. They're quite hard to draw, actually. Anyway, um, I hope you can see that. Uh, good. Um, yeah. I've been away this last week, if you're wondering where I've been. And I've put up my golden ratio videos. I put them on timer. So I've been away on holiday. I've been on a cruise. Never been on a cruise before. <laughs> I've been with my lovely wife and some old friends. And I got a little bit seasick. <laughs> It was actually a very calm voyage on the way home. It was probably, you couldn't get the Bay of Biscay any more calmer. And I'm still feeling giddy over 24 hours later. It's very strange. And where did we go? We went from Southampton to Le Havre, where we spent the afternoon at the pretty little port town of Honfleur. And then we went to La Rochelle in France. And then we went to Bilbao, went to the Guggenheim Museum there. And then we went to La Coruña in Spain, where we spent the day in Santiago de Compostela, which was very, very lovely. And I'm just gonna do some little wiggly wiggly feet like that and I'm extremely tired. <laughs> I spent the whole day just getting up to date with YouTube and things. Now I'm trying to think how I can uh, do this. So I think I think probably the way to do it is just to put a kind of just a kind of a texture really I suppose. And just have this kind of going I thought of colouring this in, but I'm just tired and I just want to do something quick and to get it up on YouTube so you don't think that I've forgotten you, which of course I haven't. It was very difficult and very expensive getting the internet on board the ship. So when I was in harbour, I picked up mail in email on my phone but it was just too much to answer everybody so I had to kind of answer everybody when I got back today and that will give a kind of edge to the thing. Now I'm going to just check and I can't find my hair dry. Hang on, here we are. I'm just going to check this is dry, you see I shouldn't have done that. I've splodged it. I'll just check this is dry before I erase the pencil marks. Uh, I'll do that, I'll do that. There we do. Good. Um, I'm going to do some 
shading down below. The shading helps to put the, the body kind of onto the table or onto the floor, whatever it's standing on. You could just have him on a little something, I suppose, like that. Which means then I've got to shade in this angle as well. Why am I bothering? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, and then let's give a little bit of kind of shade around that way. And a bit more around this way. You might want to take a lot more time doing this. But it's just, this is just a little bit of fun to get me back in the swing because I couldn't think of anything else to do. So I went and looked through my book. And there was guinea pig. I have a little book with lots of different things. Every time everybody, somebody says, can you draw this for me? Can you draw that for me? And I usually reply, I'll add it to my very long list. And it really is a very long list of things to do. And sometimes I feel like doing something completely different. Today I couldn't think of what to do at all because <laughs> I'm still in holiday mood. And uh, I think I'm just going to put a little bit of kind of just kind of shading in there to make that a bit darker. To make it more obviously dark. And how does that look? I, don't, I think I probably want whiskers as well. Because they're kind of quite whiskery, I think. Now I'm going to find I shouldn't have put whiskers. Let me just check. Oh yes they are, yes I knew they were. I knew they were whiskery. I've got a load of pictures up on my screen. And I think I'll just do that. And then just to bring the eye out a bit, I'll just put some little lines, curvy lines around there. Like that. Which will just kind of accentuate the eye a bit. And then do that. There we go. There's my guinea pig. I think uh, I could maybe do a bit more kind of shading down below, just to add a bit more kind of body to it. There we go. Good. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> That's trying to get me back into the swing of things as my guinea pig. If you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School on YouTube. And if you've enjoyed that, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Keep practicing, practicing, practicing. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> you take care now. Bye bye.